Are you turning off the women? Let's find out. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Brett Maverick here. I hope you all are having an awesome day so far. Yes, I did get a haircut and thank you. Yes, I know it looks amazing. Stop it. Get some help. But what we got today is the top six turnoffs when it comes to women. I know we've all been there before thinking, what the hell am I doing wrong? And your luck, I'm gonna answer that right now. So without further ado, let's get into number one. All right, the first habit is being judgmental. This is more common when you're a bit younger, you know, you think you have to find this perfect girl and you wanna judge her on each and every trait and everything she's done in the past, who she's been with, uh, her sexual experiences, all of these little nuances, right? And this is a big mistake. You should just listen to her, interpret those things, but then move along. You know, if it's not meant to be with her, if she strongly goes against your morals and the kind of person you're into, just be a gentleman about it and cut things off. Don't be judgmental and string her along or tell her that these things are wrong. You shouldn't have done that. This isn't okay. You know, just if it's not right, it's not right. Move along. But just don't be that judgmental asshole. Because that used to be me and it got me no girls and it got me nowhere. <laughs> All right, number two is lack of skincare and just basic overall hygiene. I saw this tweet from this kind of Twitter famous girl that I follow and it kind of perfectly summarizes how women feel about guys that take care of their skin and take care of themselves. She says that basically if a guy told her that he regularly cares for his skin exfoliating and moisturizing eye serum, then she'll basically have to go home with him, right? She's kidding, obviously, but you know, you get the idea. So thank God we got a sponsor. We got you covered in that department. So thank you to Teej Hanley. I love these guys, good friends of mine and longtime partners. They are responsible for this, this glowing skin here that you see before you. <laughs> but really guys, I've been using Teej Hanley since before they were even sponsoring my videos. I shouted them out in one of my first videos that really got popular. And yeah, I've been using that product ever since. If you don't know where to begin, I recommend just Teej Hanley level one. It gives you all the basics, a morning and evening moisturizer, exfoliating scrub, and a face wash. If you want to get the eye serum like the girl was talking about in her thing, her her, her tweet. You're, you're a f***ing idiot. Then those are included in level two and three. So if you want that, get level two or level three. But anyways, they're a subscription-based skincare service. So you just sign up and it'll be delivered right to your front door. You don't even have to move a muscle. So it's super convenient and it's the future. And you know I'm always hooking you guys up. They gave me a deal, so you know what that means. You guys get a deal too. So I'll put the link in my description. Use my code, get yourself hooked up, get your skin looking right. The third habit is a messy car or apartment, or if you're in a dorm or something, then your room, right? Like I've said in other videos, girls don't date the guy, they date the lifestyle. If they're gonna be spending a lot of time in your car or in your house, your room, then they wanna feel comfortable and they want a nice, pleasant atmosphere. Not only that, but it also just kind of shows the type of person that you are. If they see that you're really messy and just trash your possessions, then they're gonna assume that you're kind of like that with everything. You don't take anything seriously. Even if that's not the case at all, that's gonna be the assumption that they get. So don't be a slob, clean up after yourself and have a nice, pleasant atmosphere for them to come and relax in. Number four is getting jealous. This is a horrible, horrible attribute. Getting jealous over little things is a big indication of low status. And that's the worst thing that we want girls to think of when they see you. We want them to think that you're high status. If you show these jealous habits, then she's gonna think that you're not the guy that she thought you were. She's gonna think that you don't have any confidence, you don't have any self-esteem and you're just weak-minded, right? So don't get jealous over the little things and at the very least, don't show your jealousy. Now obviously if there's a big red flag, a reason for you to actually be triggered, then talk to her about it and you know, decide where to go from there. Number five is talking like a bro. It's no secret that girls usually are attracted to the guy that appears and acts a little bit more mature than the guys that she's used to, right? So if you kind of have that bro, that kind of boy speech, you know, hey, 
Hey bro, let me borrow your drool. Yeah bro, send it. And you're really gonna turn off the type of girls that you want to attract. You might attract one type of girl and I promise you it's not really the type that you want. So start working on your speech, work on your tonality. I have other videos on this, you should go check those out, but it makes a world of difference. Get rid of those low status words such as like, if you say, oh, it was like this, uh, you know, you're kind of like that, like, 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 stop that. There's a ton of other words to use. So anyways, clean up your speech, pronounce your words, have nice vocal tonality, and you might actually turn some girls on. All right, that's number five, and that brings us to number six, which I actually forgot. It's, it's being too available. <laughs> the biggest turn off, I promise, to women is being too available. If you're always hitting her up, it doesn't seem like you have anything going on, you're always there to beckon her call, then she's eventually gonna get extremely turned off. You see, humans are programmed to chase that which retreats from us. Now, that doesn't mean you have to play hard to get, you know, uh, blowing her off or making up excuses not to hang out and stuff like that, but it just means that you need to have stuff going on, live your own life, have your own goals and things that bring you joy that you have to devote your time to other than just hanging out with her all the damn time. You see, women love the chase. As f***ed up as it is, they do. And guys do too. Whether you realize it or not, you love chasing women. If you could have the most stunning, beautiful girl in the world, but if she's always available, always blowing up your phone, you're gonna get turned off too. I promise you that. So have a life, have things going on, have friends that you hang out with sometimes, have this passion that you're chasing. For me, it's YouTube teaching you guys things that you probably don't know yet, but don't be too available. That's what it all boils down to. So that's it guys, the top six ways that you're turning off women. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. If you haven't already, check out Teej Hanley, get your skin looking right. If you haven't already, subscribe, turn post notifications on, and until next time, peace out.